The time had come to call on Qatar to end its funding. They have to end that fund and its extremist ideology in terms of funding. I want to call on all of the nations to stop immediately supporting terrorism. Stop teaching people to kill other people. Stop filling their minds with hate and intolerance. I won't name other countries. But we are not done solving the problem, but we will solve that problem. The time had come to... Shalom, everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. We just heard Trump uh, when he was a president and he called Qatar and he mentioned, even if you watch the whole video, that the one supporting terrorism in a very high rank in the country, which means starting from the ruler. It's not a secret. You know, when a president of USA go in the White House and he say Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism. Obviously, if I know, he should know. I don't have the CIA. I don't have the tools of the CIA. I cannot read phones. I cannot listen to calls. I cannot trace fund. They can. So if I know from long, long time that Qatar is the head of the snake of terrorism, how in the world those American and European do not know? Everybody knows. We just heard in the news that the one behind kidnapping those hostages is a so-called journalist who work for Al Jazeera TV. What Qatar they do, not only they provide heaven for the terrorists inside Qatar, but they provide them with all kinds of supplement, not only money, but transportation and what i mean by transportation when you have a statues like you are a journalist when you have you are a reporter when you have a passport of uh, uh, you are a diplomat you can carry things nobody can carry especially a diplomat they can carry a human being inside the box and nobody have the right to open it and this is what they did this is what turkey do this is what qatar do this is what Emirat do. This is what Saudi Arabia do. The funny is, they are saying that IDF accusing Al Jazeera TV reporters of the kidnapping have no proof. So imagine they find they found that the, the kidnapped people, the hostages in his house. with his family <laughs> and there is no proof imagine he moved them from house to house and all the houses they stayed in is owned by the so-called journalist and they have no proof and not only that he is a doctor he's what he is a doctor. Look what the CNN is saying. Israel alleged journalists held hostages in Gaza without providing evidence. What do you mean providing evidence? What is that exactly the evidence you are looking for? His name is Abdullah. He's a Abdul. This is number one. Number two, he's a doctor. <laughs> so he have a mission for a humanitarian mission. This is why he is taking care of the hostages in his house. They put them 
either in schools or in the inner war, which is nothing but a, an organization established to support the terrorist groups of Hamas and other terrorism groups, and their hospital, and the mosque, inside the school, inside the journalist house, and he is the one who moved them around. And for sure, this is all is under the command of Hamas. I mean, this guy, they say he's a civilian. A civilian, you know, the, the butt of uh, Biden is civilian too. So, American TV stations like CNN, they are asking Israel for proof. In fact, yesterday, the BBC, they asked the the one who speak in the name of the army he is retired i think from the idf the bbc uh, uh, anchor he asked did you provide a warning for the civilian before your right to free the hostages imagine those stupid european western they are asking the israeli to send a message to the terrorist we are going to come and rescue our hostages so he's asking him did you provide did you provide warning to the civilians so they can stay away? How I'm going to come to a group of terrorists who my purpose is to surprise them before they move my hostages? <laughs> I mean, do you see the level of the stupidity? How far? Stupidity can go. You can search the news, by the way, and you will find it. Actually, hey, I found it. The stupid the donkeys of the West, the hypocrite of the West, they are asking the Israeli why you did not send a warning to the Palestinians, which are not Palestinian, those are Arab. Palestinians have nothing to do with the Arab. They have their language, they have their, they are, they are mixed of, but those are Arab. Ask any one of them, are you an Arab? They will say yes. Did you provide the terrorist a warning before you go? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what? When I say that everyone is a liberal, is a piece of shit, I am not exaggerating. In fact, shit is more useful than you. At least we can use it as a manual. So those people, they are desperate for the last six months, losing the life of many soldiers. 100,000 civilians, they are displayed from their houses. The country is at war just to free those, those you know, to free four, finally free four. And now you are asking them, why you are not providing warning before you go? This is the Israeli used to do. This is how stupid the Israeli uh, army. Imagine, I made a video, just go check it out right away after October 7. I said, look at the stupidity. They are giving a warning for people before they attack the building. Are you going after the building or you are after the terrorist? So they send text messages to everybody in the area says, this, this building we are going to bomb. Please leaves. So why you want to bomb it? And there's nobody there. The terrorists are gone. The Israeli, but many of you in the comment, they said, oh, CACP, they don't want to have a casualty. I mean, this is the most stupid answer ever. Are you there to destroy the building or to destroy the terrorist? The casualty is their fault, not yours. If they care for the casualty, they should not have terrorists between civilians. They should not occupy a residential building if they care for the casualty. 
So for years, the stupid Israeli, they are practicing this method, which is useless. Because I send you a text message, Abdul, he leave the, he, he, uh, Abdul Hamas, he leave the building. Then the army of Israel, thank the intelligence of such an army, they shoot the empty room where the Abdul, he sleep. And what they kill, they kill his cat. And now the stupid Western are asking the Israeli, why you did not give them a warning? Do you see how far the stupidity can go? Everyone knows. And if the Israeli have, a, you know, if they have little intelligence in their leadership, you should not attack Gaza. Your enemy is in Qatar. Go bring the ruler of Qatar. Is going to take you less than 15 minutes to bring him. This guy don't have an army. He don't have a country. It's a farm. You can bring him from his palace in 15 minutes and you will see that all the hostages will be released immediately. For he is the one is the most important for them. This way the money, every single member of the faith Hamas is getting paid by Qatar. All of us, we knew that. The country you should attack and bomb is not it's not Gaza. It is Qatar. Or every every animation, every gun, every everything they have, even the uniform is paid by Qatar. So you are fooling yourself. You destroy their building, Qatar will build it again. You kill a thousand from Hamas, Qatar will recruit more. They have the money. Those people have no jobs. Women make babies, they throw them in the street like rabbits. They grow up, there's no jobs. What do they do? Ah, oh, Qatar will pay you, just join Hamas. We will give you apartment, we will give you uh, money to get married, have more kids, and the kids will be in Hamas too. Everything is happening is because of Qatar. And nobody want to say the truth. That the truth, it is Qatar behind all this garbage. Osama bin Laden, he never met any TV unless it is coming through Qatar. The only one who can publish his videos is Jazeera TV. The only one who can meet him in his place is Jazeera TV. The, one, the only one who can meet ISIS leaders is Jazeera TV. The only one who can meet Hamas and they host Hamas is Jazeera TV. Al Jazeera TV, Qatar, the ruling family, who they are a bunch of Bedouin, they used to take a shower once a year, if they have money for it, who their country is made by the Western. Many of you is born before Qatar was born. There was no Qatar, just... 50 years ago. No Qatar. <laughs> I'm serious. You will check it out. No Qatar. There's no country called Qatar. There's no country called Emirat. There's no country even called Saudi Arabia. They never exist. They created those countries, those Western evil governments, and they wanted them to be so small and divided so they will be in need of those Western government. Like you cannot survive without us. This is why you see Qatar, they open their land to the American to have the biggest base of American army in the Middle East. This is the same guy who support terrorists. Here you see how evil they are. So we support terrorists and we bring the American to protect us. Huh? And the American, they will go blind because now they need our land. So we are protected for all the crimes we will do, for all the genocide we will do. When Trump, he made his speech against Qatar, 
if a Trump was a decent man, when I heard this speech, I said, finally, we have a man. It turned to be we have a potato. Right away, Qatar, they rented a building from his son-in-law. One billion dollars. And they paid the rent for the coming 99 years. Have you ever heard of somebody paying rent for the coming 99 years? I mean, you can buy a building bigger than the building you are renting. It is a bribe. The same guy who say they are, they have to stop supporting terrorism. Do they stop supporting terrorism? No. Is the same guy who starts selling them the most expensive airplanes in USA. You know, when I say we want to vote for Trump because he is way better than Biden, but if you want the truth, all of them they are a piece of shit. All of them they are corrupt. All of them they are liars. How you stand here saying that Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism and then your son-in-law who is official working for you as a consultant is not just a businessman. You know, I can say, okay, well, he's a businessman. I have nothing to do with him. No, he's working for you at that time. You, him and, he, and your daughter. They go and rent a building from your son-in-law who is going to go bankrupt for a billion dollars. And since then, you never mentioned the name of Qatar again. In fact, you became so close to them. Everything is for sale. Biden is selling the country to the Chinese. Trump is selling the country to Qatar. I mean, everybody is for sale. And the poor you, you believe them. But we have no choice but to vote for him. If we don't vote for him, the borders is, uh, is uh, at least this guy will close the border. At least this guy he will have a better price for gas. At least this guy he will have more jobs. But this guy is not good really when it's come to fighting terrorism. Unless he repent. And I don't think so. Maybe now because what Qatar did, he will he will do a different move. Maybe. We will see. But sometimes history repeats itself. We have no choice. We, you know, in this election, in this stupid country, they give you a stupid system. They give you two idiots. You have to choose one of them. We don't have options. If you don't vote for Trump, you vote for the woke. They want to make your kid homosexual. They want to change your gender of a baby. They want to have bathroom, male and female. That's what they are busy about. This is how stupid those people are. This is their concern. It's not economy. It's not got the price. It's not food. It's not health. No, no, no. Their, their concern is a bathroom, penis, vagina, ass, anus. What do you think about good result in European Union? What good result? Those people are doomed long time ago. Good result? What result? Europe is controlled by the woke. Until that change, there is no good result. Every European country is controlled totally by the woke community. And this is what they are busy about, the anus. Vagina, penis, bathroom. LB, LGBTQ community. Countries around the world, they are worried about safety, security, war, you know, resources. And those people are busy with the penis and vagina. Any countries, all countries who end with such a way, they are doomed. They, they, that's it, they are finished. Unless they repent. You see, Rome was destroyed because this is what happened to them. You became obsessed with sex. Sex is God for them. In fact, they have God's 
like sex, sex gods. I don't know about French leader, my friend. Listen, the Bible says from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their speeches. People say things in speeches to win election, you know, you know stupid things. Like Trump, he was against abortion, but now he's, he noticed that abortion, there's many people, they don't like the, the ban for it. He said, I will let you vote for it, you know. So now he became flexible. Just to win, they don't care. Just, just make me a president. Always you have to differentiate between people making speeches and what they do in the ground. So, like many people, they say, why you don't speak against Trump? Who said I don't? I made many videos against him. I don't take a side. I'm always truthful with anything. I believe anything I say, I have to be truthful with myself first before I'm truthful with you. I will lose respect to myself if I say something I don't believe in. Trust me carefully, I listen to myself. The second I will say something is not truthful, I will lose respect of myself. I don't care if people respect me or not. But I cannot take it to see myself losing respect to myself. And those people, they have no respect to themselves. Qatar is the one support terrorism and then you sell weapon to Qatar and then you rent your building to Qatar and then you don't put sanctions on Qatar so what does this speech about ah it was about you know what if you don't pay me I'm coming after you isn't it The Israeli now, they notice and they knew that Qatar have a big involvement in everything is happening. Just a month ago, look how stupid the Israeli government. Just a month ago, they kicked out a Jazeera TV. Why in the world you allow such a terrorist TV stations to practice so-called journalism in your land? Give me a reason. Why they allow people who speak against them teaching hate Recruiting terrorists. Because you know war, I mean you do not need to be a genius to know that war have many edges and journalism is an army. Journalism is not a journalism, it's an army. You can create a revolution in a country by an article. You can cause a collapse of a country by an article. You can cause collapse of a stock market by an article. If I make a, if I'm a newspaper who is having, a, let us say, so-called reputation, I can make now an article against any company in USA. Trust me, in less than five minutes from the publication, speaking negative about it, the price of stocks will go down, down, down. And if I claim that somebody is going to sue somebody, this company, and they will lose trillions of dollars, the company might go bankrupt. Anyone who joined armed forces before, he knew that the intelligence, they rely heavily on journalism to collect information. They have journalists who they are recruited in the CIA. And this is what all countries in the world do. Russia, China, USA, Saudi Arabia, everybody. If you remember, the one Saudi Arabia kidnapped, if we can use that word, and made him shish kebab. Anyone remember? The one was killed in Turkey. What was his job? He claimed that he was a journalist. 
where he is a journalist in Saudi Arabia, sorry, in Canada and in USA. <laughs> but this guy, go check it out. Everyone knows that he worked for many, many years as part of the security of Saudi Arabia as a secret agent and in intelligence. It's not a secret. And now he switched sides aside, like I mean when he was killed, before he was killed, to join Qatar. Which means join Turkey. He just switched side. He is an agent for Qatar and Turkey in USA. This guy spent more than half of his life working for the Saudi as an agent. Suddenly, every scumbag in USA speaking about him as a journalist. And the funny, they themselves and their website, they say, yes, he was a security agent. He was an intelligent agent. He met with Osama bin Laden many times. He was a member of Al-Qaeda, and he is still a member of Al-Qaeda. Journalism is just a cover, the best cover. Because in the name of journalism, I can put my nose in anything. Protected, covered, and people fear me. You do something to me, I will make an article about you. I will make scandal for you. Journalism is like a whore. You fight with her, you lose. She will scream, she will say he tried to rape me. She have no honor. What she will lose? So this guy got killed by the Saudi. He is recruiting. He is writing. He is sponsoring. He is supporting. Muslim Brotherhood, Hamas, Al-Qaeda. All of that, the American did not see it. They see only he is a journalist. This is why Erdogan, he went so crazy. This is why Qatar, they went so crazy. For this is their guy. He switched side. So when they say to us, a journalist... We know that this journalist is not a journalist. He is for sure a terrorist. And being a doctor or not being a doctor will not to change anything. That is even more evil. God have mercy. When I say stupidity is amazing, and nobody will listen, we keep saying the same thing, Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. You want to fight terrorism around the world, you need to change the regime of Qatar. This is the money back. This is number one supporter. Israel should not bomb Gaza. They should start first with Qatar. They are the one who paid those terrorists to rape your daughters. They are the one in control of the negotiation, which means saying yes or no. It's them. They are not the middle person. They are the person. Every single terrorist of those Hamas leaders are in Qatar. They live in a fancy life. Who paid for the fancy life? It is Qatar. They give them a special passport so they can fly anywhere. Passport is diplomatic. They go vacation every few days to go to Turkey, enjoying vacation with the family. Shouldn't those people are be wanted by the Interpol around the world? Nobody after them. Not the Western, not the American, for very simple reason. 
Qatar. For the leaders of this countries are corrupt. Biden, not Biden, it doesn't matter. All is the same garbage. And if a Trump, he have a little decency, then he should prove that he have decency when it's come to Qatar. You go in TV and you say Qatar should have stopped supporting terrorism. Now, what next happened? Nothing. Money. You give me your money, we will have honey. It just makes you upset to see what's going on. It's just disgusting. Stupid leadership in Israel. Until now, they keep saying our problem is not with the civilian of Gaza. No. You are a liar and you are a hypocrite and you are not saying the truth. The civilian of Gaza are Hamas. The kids of Gaza, they were dancing when Hamas was raping your kids. You are just being politically correct. Hypocrite. All of them, they are your enemy. And all of them, they dance for your death. And to say that the evil one is Hamas, that's because you are stupid. For Hamas is Gaza. And to say that you can destroy Hamas is just a joke. Because the only way to do it is to get rid of Gaza. Or no more money. Then nobody will join them. And the only way to stop the money to come to Gaza is to be on charge of any penny come to Gaza. The stupid Netanyahu, he is the one who used to allow the money come by backs, arrive to Tel Aviv. Imagine the stupidity. Imagine how stupid this Netanyahu is. Piece of shit. Sorry, guys. I have to use this word a lot. Because this is really horrible. He Im imagine he himself he allowed Qatar to send. It's not like secret. It's not like they send the money in the tunnel. It's not like you know they smuggle it. No, no, they come to Tel Aviv. They put them in vans, and the vans go all the way, full of dollars. Go to Hamas. Do you see how smart the Israeli Netanyahu? A piece of garbage. And the Israeli, <laughs> you know, like they have the most uh, powerful intelligence, Mossad, they did not notice that Hamas or Gaza is buying extreme number of cement. I mean, don't you notice that the cement is coming is not normal? Like how many buildings they are building a year? You know, how those stupid people did not notice? In fact, at Jazeera TV themselves, they have an interview with Hamas a few years ago inside their tunnels. This is what happened when your leader is a donkey. They are just pure donkeys. Who in the world will think such a guy? Look at him. He don't look like a terrorist. He looked like an, you know, a friendly guy. He's a doctor, educated. But isn't it all of them? The purpose of them is try to fool you. The purpose is to try to find the best cover. This guy, he spent his life working for the Saudi intelligence. And the Saudi intelligence, their job is exactly to do what they did to him. They cut him pieces. This is what he used to do with the Saudi. He made fortune of money from working as a, a, a secret agent in the intelligence of Saudi Arabia. And we know what does that mean. How many people are assassinated, how many people are kidnapped, and later they did that to him, exactly what he used to do to others. The fool, they told him, if you want the certificate for marriage, you have to go inside the embassy. 
We cannot give it to you in the street. You go inside the embassy. He never left. And nobody can find his body. They grind it. Literally, they grind it. They cut in pieces. The Saudi intelligence, they send surgeons. Surgeon, not butcher. In order to dismantle him pieces. And then they grinded him. So nobody can find his bones, nobody can find his flesh. And most likely, they put it in the acid. Even the grinded one. And then they dispose it maybe with the sewage. So what we see is very embarrassing. We have five months left for the election. And I have no choice but to vote for Trump. Because compared to the rest, he is the best. It doesn't mean he's the best for me. Compared to the, re to the rest. To the rest. Which means we are comparing to the stupidity of the Democrat. The most corrupt party ever. Oh, they are trying to make America the same as a Middle Eastern country. Anyone who speaks against the government, him and his family disappear. You say one statement against the president or the king or the prince, you, your family, you disappeared. Nobody will know. Who, 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 you don't even exist in their papers. They bring you the king of Jordan to make speeches. This guy is a scumbag. There's tens of thousands are missing in Jordan. His father, King Hussein, he killed tens of thousands of Palestinians. And yet he is the one speaking against genocide. And today, if you check the news in Jordan, the king of Jordan, who is not a king, he is just a toy, sex toy of the British and the American. They have a conference today it's called assistant F uh, conference, human assistance. And the purpose of this conference is to collect donation to help the terrorists of Gaza. And guess what? They did not invite Israel to join the conference. How you can send any money any assistant to those terrorists if Israel did not allow you. <laughs> and now they call them prince and princes. You know, do you remember King Hussein? Do you remember your grandfather who full of lies? Do you remember when he entered into a man in the top of a donkey and the bridge they brought him? Do you remember? Do you remember who paid him salary? Do you? They made them kings. They made them princes, but they are bankrupt anyway. They have no money. I mean, this guy making a conference in this country to collect donation, but he is himself, is, is he is the one who needs, you know, USA give him every year. This is what Trump, he should, you know, do. Should stop sending our money for those terrorists. The scam of kings and princes. Go check the lies in your head. If you go right now, check how many Palestinians the king of Jordan killed. If you go right now and check the Black September. Anyone heard of a Black September? And now this coward is escorting Israel about genocide. In black September, the king of Jordan killed tens of thousands of Palestinians with no mercy. Go check it out. Just type black September, Jordan.
all those Middle Eastern countries, they killed a lot of Palestinian. Not because, by the way, those Palestinian, they go to any country, they want to take over. So they went as a refugee to Jordan, they want to take over Jordan. They went as a refugee to Lebanon, they destroy Lebanon. They went over as a refugee to Tunisia, they want to take over Tunisia. It doesn't matter where you, this is why the Egyptian don't want them, the Syrian don't want them, the Turkish, the Erdogan don't want them, nobody want them. They came to Jordan as a refugees. A few years after, the king became a potato. They want to kill him, they want to take over. Yasser Arafat became the king. He's in charge of the airport, he's in charge of the borders, he's in charge of the money, he's in charge of everything. Black September. Cities are burned. And then now the king of Jordan, what about you make a speech about what your dad did? And you know what is what is really weird? Like when Erdogan, he made a speech and Netanyahu, he responds, shouldn't you ask him before you open your mouth, go and see what you are doing to the Kurdish? I mean, do those, do those, those people even have a mouth? Can't Netanyahu says, hey, hey, do you want us to put the Black September pictures for you? The one who is speaking about human rights and Palestinian rights. What happened? I mean, how those people became leaders and, and how they become prime ministers? Shouldn't be the person you chose, at least he knew how to talk. He knew how to refute somebody. He knew how he can answer somebody. Stupidity is amazing. If you cannot open your mouth, if you cannot say to a statement, who in the world and why you are elected? This is Black September. The reality is that Western Muslims are an organization of hate crime against Israel. The king of Jordan, he killed Palestinian. The British, they never have a problem with that. Saddam Hussein, he bombed the Kurdish with chemical weapon. British, the American, nobody have a problem. Nobody have a problem. Chemical, chemical. We're not, we're not talking about bombing. The guy killed tens of thousands with chemical weapon. He killed them like rats. Nobody strike, nobody in the street, nobody, it's okay. Syria, Saudi Arabia, Libya, everywhere. Death is in every corner. Nobody care. The Jews trying to get back their hostages and go after the one who raped their women and burned their babies alive, they are committing genocide. And there is many stupid who claim to be Christians, they believe that. They believe that those people are doing crimes. I don't want to wish that to happen to your wife and your daughter. And then you tell me what you will do. Israel, as a government, they never kidnap one Muslim woman or raped her. Never. But trust me, every Israeli soldier, he have a penis too. This is telling you who is the filthy. The word is not the word of the truth. The winner is not the one who said the truth, is the one who lie more. The earth is like a ground jury in USA. They bring you a bunch of idiots who have no education whatsoever about investigation, about how to check with facts. They bring you those people naive, 
and then somebody go in the stage and he cry. They are killing my people. Oh, he's crying. He must be saying the truth. This is how the world is. We convince the fool by some tears and some Photoshop editing. Or even if the photo is true. Even if the photo is true. Well, this is war. How come you don't see the photos of my victims? How come the victims from my side does not make you cry? Oh, they killed the child. How come you don't cry for my child? When the Jordanian army, with the help of the Chechen fighters, in case you do not know, every single bodyguard of the King of Jordan is not even an Arab. They are from Chechenia. Because they don't trust the Arab. They don't trust them. They will betray him right away. Those Chechenia are minority in Jordan. So, because they are minority, they will not dare to betray him. Otherwise, they will, he will erase them. And this is the scenario everywhere. They speak suddenly about a human right. I mean, name for me one country in this world where Muslims are leaders, there is a human right. Just name one. And then those stupid Western, they will give you speeches about a human right. But a human right work only against Israel, not against the criminals who they are attacking Israel. Circassian, they are from Chechenia still. Sharkas are from, from the Chechen Republic. The Sharkas are from the Chechen Republic. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I might go live again later at night in my time. Should I come back? I just wanted to share this with you. You know, guys, I left the Middle East for a million reasons. All of them are connected to Islam. All of them. I did not leave the Middle East because I was poor. I never was. I did not leave the Middle East because I'm looking for a job. I was doing way better than here. I did not leave the Middle East because we have sun here. We don't have sun. We have more sun there. I did not leave the Middle East because I don't like the where the place I was born in. I did not. But wherever the garbage of Muhammad goes, the land will become the land of hell. You bring Muhammad to paradise, paradise is nothing but an oven. They say to you that the Palestinians are defending, but the true or the truth that the only ones was with the Jews in that land, it was Christians who they are Aramic. They are not even Palestinian. They call them Palestinian. Yes, I know, but they are not even Palestinian. Even those are not Palestinian. They are Aramic. But when the last time we heard that the Christians, between two brackets, Palestinian kidnapping Jewish women and raping them. How come only Muslims do that? And remember that the Muslims, them themselves, they are occupation. The first time a first Arab he entered this land is after Omar al-Khattab. You can search right now. You can search for the pact of Omar. This is the first time a person who speak Arabic live in that land. If you remember when Jesus, he spoke to the women, which is not a Jewish woman, she said to him, even dogs deserve some crumb. She is not an Arab. They speak Aramaic. What does have to do with the Arab? Islam is the problem. It's not even Hamas. If there is no Islam, there is no Hamas. If there is no Islam, there is no Black September. If there is no Islam, there is no war in Lebanon. There is no war in Libya. There is no war in Somalia. There is no war anywhere. 
Everybody go around. The Bushes says to you, Hamas is a problem. Oh no, Israel is a problem. The truth is, the problem and the only problem is Islam. You take them to Netherlands, rape and killing and kidnapping. You take them to England, is the same story. You take them, to, you take them anywhere. Islam is the problem. But nobody want to say the truth. Everybody want to play politics. And I am sick of it. And I know, you know, here many people don't like what I say and they get upset from me. But I'm here to make you upset, actually. Because the only way to say the truth is to make people upset. If I don't say the truth, nobody will get upset. So let's say the, you know, the sky is blue and the trees are green. And put some ears earring in your nose and your whatever in your vagina and life is good and some tattoo don't forget the tattoo because that will make you pretty i mean the tattoo is the most important thing how you can prove even that you exist without a tattoo you need a tattoo right that's life and you know weekend we go to the beer we drink beer we dance we shake our ass and we are exist to defend the, the right of somebody he want to have sex in a certain way this is our this is the purpose of life now and a child we should teach him how to have sex with a child that is our agenda this is our concern countries are preparing themselves for war china is occupying itself with massive weapons and resources trying to take over other countries occupying other sources going after Philippines, going after Taiwan, going after everybody. And uh, Western are busy with the bathroom of the transgender. It's a big concern. Those, those conservatives, they are evil. They are not allowing a man who think he is a female to practice his right to go and have pee, -pee with the girls. Disgusting people. This is their concern. The whole world is preparing to attack you. And your word is focused in your anus. It's a small hole, but look like you can see the whole vision from there. Maybe the anus became a telescope. But do you see what galaxy you are looking at? Oh, those are not galaxies, my friend. Those are balls. But I guess you have none. I know many people don't like my language, but I say it as it is. Who like it, like it, who don't, <laughs> take a hike. Anyway, I will try to come back again if you like me to come back. And we will see based on the comment. Uh, leave your comment. Be truthful. We have enough hypocrite and hypocrisy. Too much hypocrisy will kill you. Because time will come. You will not even dare to say who you are and what you believe and what you think which means you become a slave slavery is not about having a chain in your hands slavery is about you don't dare to say what you think slavery if someone decide for you what to wear what to say what to eat and this is where they are going it's not a conspiracy. We saw what happened in 2021. They scared the hell of the whole world. Just to control us. And now it's the same. If you are voting for Trump, you are a terrorist. If you are black and you vote for Trump, you are white now. If the guy is African, no, no. If you don't vote against Trump, you are not black. They decide even your color. If you are Hispanic and you vote for Trump, you are not Hispanic. You are redhead. You are KKK. They even decide it's what is your gender. They are forcing your kids without your permission, brainwash them to change their gender. You send your son to the school as a boy, he come back as a girl.
Am I lying? Check it out in the news. Daily news. Not our news. Daily news. So what is next? I will leave that for you. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we are here to say the truth. And the truth is the Messiah. He said, I am the truth. I am the way. It's not the walk way. It's not. Those walk will take you to hell. I am the truth, the Messiah, he said. And the one who followed the Messiah is a person who said the truth. It doesn't matter how much it's going to cost him. The Lord, he said, don't fear those who destroy the flesh, but those who destroy your soul, your spirit. That is the one you fear. The day you lose the value of your soul, your spirit, is the one you are lost, not the day you lose your flesh. A hero who die for what he believe, not who live for what he don't believe. So we are people who choose the truth and the truth is only by following the guideline which is in the Bible. Anything else is a lie. Anything else is not a truth. Anything else means drugs and gangs in the street. Those who walk, they fought the Bible, they fought the cross, they fought the teaching of God, and this is what happened to their kids. Go check it out. Their cities is, is, is in horrible. Their kids are shooting their parents. This is what happened to you when you fight God. God leave you for your evil. Evil you seed, evil you harvest. Thank you all. God is good. So is Jesus. I mean to that. I hope to see you soon tomorrow or tonight.